Hi Cancer, welcome to your singles reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And for those of you that are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, and share. For those of you that subscribe and either leave a message or like the video, I meditate before every reading and I can pull in that energy and bring more personal messages to you in future readings. The link to my Etsy shop is down below. The summer sale is going to continue till July 2nd, and there's 20% off of some of my readings. Almost half of my readings are 20% off. So you can head over there and see what resonates with your situation, what you need clarity on. I wanted to grab another deck to use. Okay. Sorry for the noise. All right. Yeah, I already broke the... All right, spirit. Okay. It's Cancer's energy. Thanks. Four of Swords. Taking time out to yourself. Might be healing from something that caused you some pain. But it's like just taking a rest, taking a break. If you've been dating for a while, just trying to like maybe step aside and do other things. Whether you're in the winter or summer solstice. It's, you know, just basically doing things that ground you, that bring you peace. Soul searching. But just getting clarity on your life. What is the energy of the person coming towards cancer? You might even have air in your chart. Wow. That your person might also, your person might be an air sign. But they're feeling stuck. In an energy like they have the illusion of feeling stuck i feel like they're they're healing from a painful time if you see like some of these swords are like right by their butt jabbing them in the foot and then so they're they're in like this illusion of not being able to break out of the energy they feel and i feel like it's a painful energy what okay They could be receiving offers, but I feel like they have their mindset on manifesting the person that they want in their life, who they see themselves with, what they want with, you know, career and finance within their person, stability, um, physical attributes. It's somebody that's receiving offers, but they just don't want them. What is the energy between cancer and this person? Mutual energy. Okay, thanks, Bear. Getting, yeah, seeing, getting mentally grounded. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Getting mentally grounded, the ace, uh, the queen of swords. Um, create, you know, loving yourself, knowing your self-worth. Not willing to go into a connection unless it, like, spikes your interest. Phone call could be happening soon, Cancer. Um, communication could be happening soon, but it's like not willing to budge unless it, it's a connection that you feel is in your best interests. Both of you are getting mentally grounded. It could be a younger water sign or they could have water in their chart, but I feel like they're going to be a little bit younger than you. They want to come forward and they're going to give you an offer. Also could have fire in their chart. Fire, water, maybe even air. All right, let's see. What is going to be the overall outcome for this person coming towards cancer? The Queen of Cups, the emotions. The offer of feelings. It's going to heal and, and it's going to heal the ending, the pain that both of you seem to be like, you're, you're healing from it, definitely. 
your person feels stuck, but it's going to move the barrier. It's going to move whatever you feel, both of you, whatever like ending you feel, whatever pain you feel, it's going to alleviate that. It's going to be something that helps you move out of the energy of, you know, just taking a break and feeling stagnant and them too. It's going to be something that satisfy, satisfies you both emotionally, you know, a lot of feeling behind it. I feel like there's also going to be a lot of passion with the Ace of Wands. Anything else, Spirit, that Cancer needs to know? Anything else that Cancer needs to know? All right. And then I'm going to clarify the moon. The Death card and the Eight of Wands. All right, guys. So this could be somebody that you know from the past. That you had an ending with. You might be dreaming about them. You might, you know, think about them often. And I feel like your person is thinking, this person coming towards you is thinking about you just as much. With the Ten of Swords and the Death card, it's an ending and a transformation. All right, let's see what else comes in. But it could be an ending on both of your ends of things that no longer resonate in your life, other situations. And then it's a transformation within you both. And that's what brings you together. All right, spirit. What else does Cancer need to know about this connection? All right. Ten of Coins. This connection is going to bring stability. Higher level of commitment. Something that's going to be very grounded that you, both of you can grow towards. And it's, going, it's coming in slow. Slow is moving energy. However... It's, you can trust this energy. You might have a dog or they may have a dog. There's dogs and actually three dogs in these pictures. Like one here and two here. Yeah, but it's going to be something that you both want to fight for. Both of you want to put the effort into this. That's what makes it so grounded and so stable. With both of you coming in mentally grounded, you're ready to... You know, go the distance, not play games. Wow, the happiest card of the day. Oh my God, look. The sun and the lovers. This is a divine, un a divine union. Could also have um, strong fire in their chart. But it's like, everything's going to be okay. This person coming in, it's going to heal any past hurts that you felt. And any past hurts or... Um, feeling stuck that they feel. I feel they have other offers, but they're waiting for that connection with their person. And it's you. All right, let's see what comes out. In, um, Oracle cards. There is definitely a transformation between the two of you. I mean, both of you separately. That brings this connection together. That brings this communication in. Thank you, Spirit, for Cancer and their person. For Cancer and their person. Networking, marketing, social media. You might have you might meet them on social media. You, or be dating online and you meet them. Grounded fertility, past lives. You might come together and just feel like you've known this person forever. If you do have that feeling, you could have lifetimes with this person. But it's like stay grounded. 
I see that you're taking that break and you're taking that rest, but stay grounded in the now so that when this comes around, you're ready for it. Because here's Mother Gaia again, the earth energy, the groundedness. Do whatever you do that makes you feel happy and grounded. That brings you sadness. Brings you satisfaction. Makes you feel satisfied. Cancers. Always take what resonates and then also watch your moon rising and Venus signs for additional clarity. That way you get any messages that are truly meant for you. Successful completion. Going the distance. See the two of you coming together. You're coming in in such a good energy. Mentally, many mentally stable, grounded, willing to go the distance for one another. Man, you or the querent person you know, boyfriend, fiance, spouse, love interest. So for some of you, you could already know this person, have a connection with this person. You could feel like, you know, a or you could come together and have a road trip, it says. Opportunities travel. You could be at a distance from this person. But both of you are coming together like, Cancer, you're independent and stable. They're independent and stable. Both of you, I feel, have been through a transformation. So healing, breaking free from this Eight of Swords energy for your person, so that when you come back or come towards one another, it's it's like karma's paid back, barriers are lifted. You're both in this great energy, and you're both meant to be on each other's path with this two with this wheel of fortune here. Pay attention to repeating twos. There's two 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 here. Actually, you have a lot of twos. Pay attention to repeating twos. See synchronicity. Spirit's trying to get your attention. When you see repeating twos, you know, go to your thoughts, of what you're thinking about at that time, and where you are, your person could be right around you. But this is truly out of your hands. When the wheel of fortune comes out, it's divinely guided. It's going to happen no matter what. So even if, Cancer, you just started dating someone, and it doesn't feel like the energy I just explained... It doesn't matter. This person's going to come in when you're meant to come in. And you might just need to make a choice. What's truly meant for you will never miss you or pass you by. It just won't happen. All right, Spirit. What else for my cancer? The clarity. Butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. That's that transformation. And anything else to bring clarity to my cancers. All right. Many options, decision. That's what I, I just got. That even if you are currently dating someone, don't ever be afraid you're going to miss this because it's still going to come into your life even if you are currently dating someone. And look at that twin flame connection. For some of you, it will be that twin flame connection. It's going to be that easy energy. It's just like you don't realize why other things were so hard in life and why this person comes into your life and you just get each other. But it's going to be so balanced and you're going to complement one another. All right, Cancer, this is your reading. I will be back for many more readings. And stay safe and have a great weekend. Love and light.